already know what it is. Uncle Bokow back again in the building. So, the pineappler. He sends me some of those there Carolina Queefers, right? Well, he starts sending me messages. Did you get them? Did you get them? Did you get them? Did you get them? I don't know if he tracked the package and found out. I'm like, I go just literally grabbed them out of my mailbox. He's like, did you review them? Did you review them? Did you review them? I'm like, holy cow, man. I can't even breathe. He's, he's bothered me to review these freaking things. So I told him, I go, I, or Mrs. Bokow's not going to be with me. She's taking a nap right now. So I'm going to have to freaking review these things uh, by myself. Just kidding. That's not what happened. It's a good one, though, right? Sounded good, huh? Mrs. Bokow is out of commission right now, okay? So I'm going to get lit up here. Uh, I took these uh, Carolina Queefers and I... I put put them on some some crackers here. Just just put a little bit of goat cheese so it sticks. So don't so the pepper don't fall off. Mm. It's hot. Woo. A little bit floral, but not too bitter. <clears throat> Very hot. Woo! <clears throat> Tony said that these tastes are really good, and that's why he sent them to me. He knows that um, me and Mrs. Bokal don't particularly like the flavor of Reapers. But he, he said that these uh, taste awesome. And so he thought he wanted us to give him a try. So uh, thank you to the pineappler. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Woo! There's a little bit of goat cheese on there, but it's not, it's not going to counteract the Reaper. It's actually making it stick everywhere, so I don't think it's helping with the burn, but it tastes good. That's why I did it. Mrs. Bocock is supposed to be getting down with me with this. These are her favorite crackers right here. Of course, I'll save her some. Wow. So, Tony, the pineapple, he was in the grocery store the other day. And um, I think it was a different grocery store than one he frequents. But, man, he found scotch bonnets and all different colors scotch bonnets and uh, fresh reapers, nice big ones. We don't see that in the stores here. Um, I haven't seen scotch bonnets in the grocery stores in 20 years reapers two years ago i seen them once mm. i bought some and we cut them up and put them in sushi um ghosts i seen last year i think it was like september A little tiny thing of ghost peppers you know the stems were all black they were old i'm like come on Thinking to myself, where were you guys before I found the pepper community? <laughs> Look, I didn't know where to get pods. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. It was so bad that I went to church. I used to go to church in Winston-Salem. So I drove all the way out there. And I drove the back roads looking at farm stands. Like, man, somebody's got to be growing these things. And I couldn't find any super hots local. Uh, and then I, the lady that I buy my seedlings from uh, every year, well, she had everything. I, I mean, scorpions and dragon's breath and all kinds of chocolate bootless. But 
I, I bought some plants from her and said, do you know anyone that grows these? And she said, yeah. And she hooked me up with this guy. And I went up to his house and he just had a field, man. And I was like, I'm like, I want as many as you got. And so, yeah. After that, I started getting into the Facebook groups and watching the YouTube channels, getting to know people. And now I, I, I have a, too many peppers. And when it's pod season, I have, this is going to be, this year is going to be crazy. My, my one guy, I gave him 106 plants. He's got a total of 200. My other growing partner, 36 plants. All, all of them pods from the 36 plants. Every pepper is going to me. The other guy from the 200 plants, um, I'll be getting five pounds a week. I got 57 plants of my own. Um, I also got some, I've sent some seeds out. I've gave some seedlings away to people and just said, hey, give me a bag of peppers, you know, when the season's hot. Like, so I've been blessed. Yo, Carolina Queefer. Man, I'm burning right now. Thank you, uh, Pineappler. These actually do taste pretty good. I'm surprised, man. You know, I... Like I said, I was getting my Reapers um, from one person and last year, and I don't know if maybe he had a, too much nitrogen in his soil. Um, and some people, they they can't help it. Some people just, they'll use b uh, blood meal or something earlier on. They try to keep the nitrogen up to keep the plants healthy. And then some of them, some, some of them plants start flowering. And they actually just push through it and then... Uh, or just conditions, uh, stress. Sometimes I've had, I've had really, and I know that my one boy, he, he's getting 13 hours, 14 hours of sunlight. Uh, there's different conditions that they do make the peppers hotter. They make the peppers more floral, more bitter, and so forth. So we've been really against reapers for a long time. But then again, chocolate bootlers, we can't stand them. Uh, but Tony grows uh, the true fino. Um, and he sent them to people, and everyone's told me, no, you got to try Tony's. They're not the same. They taste good. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, hat, hat, hats off to, to the pineappler. Mm. Those do taste good. I mean, I can tell it's a reaper. Um, and like I said, it's got that floralness to it a little bit. The thing is, it's not, this one's not bitter. The, the, these last couple bites here, they're not bitter. And the floral is manageable. Um, all super hots are, are floral to a certain extent. You can run in ones that are mild, milder on the floral scale, but... Oh, yeah. Thank you to the pineapple. I'm Uncle Bull Kyle. We'll get Mrs. Bull Kyle on here to review some pods tomorrow. Peace.